gradient is enormous. And so we have these, uh, so there is a threat for the cell because increased calcium is a risk. The phosphates will be precipitated and it will lead to the apoptosis and the cell death. So to cope with that, we have the mitochondria. Mitochondria takes up that increased calcium for its regulation. And then the exchangers. Now the exchangers and the pumps are open, which are on the endoplasmic reticular membrane or on the plasma membrane. So they get open and then there is a efflux of the calcium from the cell. So they either fill the stores, ER stores back, or they expel out the extra, uh, the excess of the calcium. So they maintain, the homostasis is maintained. So now what we have done is that uh, in our cells, we have sphingosine one phosphate receptor, which is a phospholipid one and three. And then there is a calcium channel, which is ORI1. And here it is a sensor protein stem one, which, uh, which is a, uh, when, so this is a resting stage when the ER stores are filled. So here the dots indicate the calcium. So here is the outside of the, of the, of the cell. So huge concentration of the calcium. And here we have the resting concentration in the cytosol, which is 100 nanomolar. And then the huge stores, the calcium stores in the ER. So what happens is when the sphingosine one phosphate, which is a ligand for this receptor binds, then it starts the phospholipase C, it activates the production of uh, actually breakdown of the uh, membrane lipids and generation of IB3, which is a second messenger. It travels down and activates the IB3 receptor present on the ER membrane, and there is a store depletion, and we get this nice uh, calcium transient. But what happens is when the ER stores are depleted, because all the calcium from the almost all or maximum amount of the calcium is now released from the ER stores, so they are empty. So this emptiness of the uh, ER, it triggers or activates the stem, and then you can see the change in the morphology, and then it makes the tetramer, and then it binds to the ORI, ori channel, and then uh, there is a influx of the calcium again in the cells to fill the stores. And there are pumps which uh, help to fill the stores for the calcium. And here is the demonstration uh, for that. So here we can see that there are channels on the membrane and when there is a low ER concentration, then what happens is that it recruits the, activates the stem one molecules, they make the tetramers and then they move towards the ORI, they make a complex and then the channel opens and the calcium entry. This calcium is then binds to several uh, proteins and then perform uh, specific functions.